All right, this was good because someone else came in here. My buddy Kangaroo God came in and answered this question, and he answered it better than I would anyway, so here you go. Skaggs asked, hey, is the question I cannot find an answer for? Why not use R134A in both car and home air conditioning systems? Or the other way around, why don't we use 410A in both systems? Kangaroo God, the aforementioned Kangaroo God, says... It is a low temperature refrigerant designed for applications with little load such as cars, home appliances, and small refrigeration. It would not be ideal for continual high load usages such as homes due to boiling point properties. So Kangaroo got busts in there with an awesome answer because I've wondered the same thing before, not really thinking about it. R134A, let's just use it everywhere. Let's just use it everywhere. Kangaroo God comes in here and gives us the lowdown. Way to go, man. That's why we have the best viewers and listeners in the world answer these questions. Because they ain't like I know the answer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I know some stuff. I know some stuff. I do. I know some stuff. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.